Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on solid shapes. In this video, we'll be looking at volume and surface area of composite shapes. So we start with the problem. Calculate the volume and total surface area of the composite solid shape below. So this is the solid shape comprising cone, cylinder and hemisphere. And be informed that the diagram is not drawn to scale. So in our solution, we start with the volume of the shape. The volume of the shape is going to be the volume of the cone plus the volume of the cylindrical body plus the volume of the hemispherical base. So the volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. This is the height of the cone. I have represented it with small h plus pi r squared h, which is the volume of the cylindrical body. I've represented the height of the cylinder as capital H plus 2 over 3 pi r cube. 4 over 3 pi r cube represents the volume of a sphere. Since this is hemisphere, we divide by 2. We have it as 2 over 3 pi r cube. Remember, they have common radius of 7 centimeters. That is common diameter. Since the diameter is 14 centimeters, so the radius will be 7. So we can get those things here. The radius is 7 centimeters. Since the diameter is 14 centimeters, then we go for capital letter H. That is the height of the cylinder, which is 30 centimeters. Then the small H which is 24 centimeters, that is the height, the vertical height of the cone, then our pi is 22 over 7. So to calculate the volume of the shape now, 1 over 3 pi r squared small h, that's going to give us 1 over 3 times 22 over 7 times r squared, that is times 7 squared, then times small h times 24, by taking care of the volume of this conical body and then plus um, pi r squared capital letter H, pi is 22 over 7 times 7 squared times 30, that is representing the volume of the cylindrical body, pi r squared H, then plus 2 over 3 times 22 over 7 times 7 cube 7 raised to the power 3 this one is representing the volume of the hemispherical base so we now simplify each this is representing the volume of the cone this is representing the volume of the cylinder this is representing the volume of the hemisphere so using our calculator, we simplify this to have 1,232. Simplifying this, we have 4,620. Simplifying this, we have 718.67. So summing them up, we have 6,570.67. Rounding off the number to three significant figures, we have 6,570 cubic centimeters which represent the volume of the composite solid shape represented in this problem we then go ahead to calculate the total surface area of the composite shape so to calculate the total surface area of the shape um this is going to be the curved surface area of the cone plus the curved surface area of the cylinder plus the curved surface area of the hemisphere. So curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the cylinder plus curved surface area of the hemisphere. So the curved surface area of a cone is by RL, where this L is the slant height. We'll be required to calculate it later then plus curve surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h 2 pi r h this h then plus 
the curve surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r squared um, the surface area of a hemisphere is 4 pi r squared since hemisphere is half so we have it as 2 pi r squared so now we need to calculate the slant height of the cone remember this is the radius which is 7 centimeters and the vertical height of the cone which is 24 centimeters so this is perpendicular to the radius so we have a slant height here as L so using Pythagoras theorem um, L squared which is the hypotenuse is equal to 24 squared plus 7 squared this is Pythagoras theorem 24 squared is 576 plus 49 which is 7 squared this is giving us 625 L squared is 625 L is square root of 625 which gives 25 so the slant height is 25 our radius is still 7 centimeters our capital letter H which is the height of the cylinder is 30 centimeters and pi is 22 over 7 so that the total surface area of the shape now will be pi which is 22 over 7 times 7 times 25 that is representing the curve surface area of the cone then plus 2 times 22 over 7 times r which is 7 times capital letter h which is 30 and that one is representing the curved surface area of the cylinder then plus 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 squared why this is representing the curved surface area of the hemisphere so simplifying this from our calculator we have this to be 550 that is the curved surface area of the cone then plus 1320 this is simplification of this which represents the curved surface area of the cylinder and finally plus 308 that represents the curved surface area of the hemisphere summing this up we have 2178 squared centimeters which represent the total surface area of the composite solid shape in the problem. This is the end of solution to this problem as well as the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until we come your way again, goodbye.